Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. So today, I wanted to take the time to sort of address if Lost Ark is too difficult. Um, this is on the news of them releasing a ton of um, patch notes and things that they're nerfing uh, regarding Tier 1 and Tier 2 bosses. And, you know, this concerns me because it's a very slippery slope to go into the tier 3 as well as the abyssal raids which are going to be coming very soon um they actually just had their march uh plan release and argos is a part of that so we will be seeing argos here on na later this month at some point they didn't give it an exact date but it will be here so that's why i wanted to sort of take um the time to address this and sort of talk about my own experiences with this game being a completely new player to lost ark um, before we get into the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Everything you do helps out the channel, helps me grow, and helps me get my content out there with the goal of helping people in most situations. Um, anyway, uh, so we're going to take a look at the post that was made here. So it says right there that um, difficulty is a hot topic when it comes to Lost Ark's in-game content, and we've seen a lot of feedback around specific raids and dungeons that have left players feeling like they're more tedious than fun. So in uh, response to this, they're going to be just in Tier 1 and Tier 2 content to make things easier. Ferdos, uh, Narcista, Flame Fox. Uh, Talados, Achilles, Aberastic, um, and then the Abyss Dungeons of Nightmares Origin, Halls of Twisted Lorelord, Hybert Palace, and Sea of Indolence. Now, to me, I look at all these, and uh, honestly, the only one that I have that I struggled with were uh, these two right here. Um, other than that, the Abyss Dungeons, you know, they were these these first two right here. You know, I sort of had to learn. The mechanics like all three of these you know you have to learn the mechanics to do them but once you learn them i have not had an issue with it at all i did them you know in the first week as well so everyone was learning and to me it, it, it's not hard you just have to do the right thing like that's all it is um i would i never like the only two guardian raids i failed were tylos and achilles and then i just went and looked up what to do like Straight up, all, here's what you have to do. You just type in maxroll.gg, bam, you click Guardian Raids, and you can click on any of these raids, and they will tell you what you have to do. Like, this is literally all you have to do, guys, to learn the fight. It takes, like, five minutes of reading. You can click on every single ability that they have and sort of it, their patterns, and there's little videos here as well as an overarching guide video. Like, everything you need, you can find maxroll.gg just like that. That's all I typed in, found this site, literally day one of playing this game, just Googling what I needed to learn. It's a very good resource, but, like, that's literally all you have to do. It's not that difficult. And why I'm sort of stressing this difficulty is I have never played Lost Ark. I come from World of Warcraft mainly, um, you know, even in there, I I strived for heroic ahead of the curve for you, those of you who play WoW well, know what that is. But that's nothing special. Like, it, I think like 30% of the player base gets it towards the end of the patch. Like, it's not even anything special or or that hard to do you know i'm a very average mmo player i don't strive to be the very top tier best and i legitimately have enjoyed that you know the overworld the questing in this game it was super easy it was really simple you know you didn't have to do much and then we come to the end game and you actually met these challenges like i i thoroughly enjoyed having to go look up these boss fights because you know that's like i was failing and i wanted to get better i wanted to do it properly and i think we could use a lot more of that mindset um when it comes to games and the biggest reason that i sort of think for these the, this being a bad precedent is because these are the easiest things like these are tier one and tier two at the end of the day they don't matter like i have yet to do any tier one and tier two content with the exception of helping my friends kill those bosses um now that i'm tier three on my main like i don't go to those and do that um so it's really um it's disheartening to see that this is the approach they're taking because 
as we look right here, we see this Marsh update. We are getting Argos, you know? That is the first in-game raid boss. Um, That's the Tier 3 one, similar to the Sea of Indolence. Um, this is the Tier 3 raid boss, and he's actually difficult, and he requires... I, I don't know his exact eye-level requirement. I think it's like 1430 or something like that. But he is where, like, the game gets hard. He is where the best gear drops. And what I would absolutely hate to see is that people are like, oh, you just killed him on NA. You killed NA Argos, which is a freaking joke compared to Korea and Russia. And, you know, that it just really, you know, you're watering down achievements. Or you p could possibly because you're, you're already gutting Tier 1 and Tier 2 content to make it easier because um, people are struggling. Well, they're just going to struggle even harder. It's not like Tier 3 is easier than those Tier 1s and Tier 2 fights and mechanics. So all you're going to do is just make it to where everyone expects, oh, it's too hard, we can just whine, complain, and we're just going to get it easier instead of actually learning to do the fights and doing them. And I think it's really, really bad for a game to go down that road unless it truly is like 90% of the population like if we look back here they said uh, ten, uh i've seen the stat that they have like a 10 percent success rate on their first attempt well yeah that might be true because a lot of people go in blind i went into blind to every single one of these and i only ended the raid early on a few of them to then go back and learn it but you know it takes like two or three attempts to learn it and then you can be fine and go in especially if you have people typing i mean i've met so many good people that are there teaching me the mechanics in order to be successful it was it wasn't like we just all went in, had no clue what we were doing, and someone always had some idea, or they even linked the, the guides and said, go watch this video, guys. I'd literally rather sit here for 5-10 minutes AFK and do absolutely nothing so that people learn the fights and it's just a little bit of patience sure you're gonna get some of those sweaty elite people like oh let's go 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 oh you don't know the fights how how dare you week one but you know that's such a small percent i encountered maybe one of those people throughout all of tier one tier two tier three everyone seems to be on the same page of hey the game just came out let's learn this stuff and let's get this stuff done so it's just it's so I think it, this game does not need to be nerfed, especially three weeks in, um, when a lot of this content is still fresh from people. Um, I, I think the bulk people are now moving towards Tier 2 content, given how much uh, the Tier 2 material video has blown up and how much my Tier 1 has sort of slowed down. Um, but... I just, I just don't see why this game should be nerfed right now. I went in completely blind. I'm not anywhere close to one of the top tier players. You know, I, I'm pretty freaking average, honestly. Um, at every MMO I play, I just, you know, try to think of ways that I find to help people. That's all I do. Um, and so, to me, having this content nerf is just setting such a horrible precedent for um players and especially when you get to these higher end parts it's just gonna be harder guys it doesn't get easier the further you go it gets harder so just scaling those down is i i, I just can't see why but anyway guys i'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this um and yeah anyway guys i'll see you next time Bye bye if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much for watching. It truly means a lot to me. If you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video, please, please, please share it with them. It helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what I love every single day, and that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that I can. So finally, thank you so much, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.